So I've been curious as to what the big upgrade's gonna be with the Apple Watch Series 8, because rumours regarding the product have been sparse, and the few rumours we have got have been suggesting some not-so-major upgrades. For example, the S8 chip in this should be on par with the S6 and S7 chip, and so without a chip performance upgrades, what new feature is this watch gonna have? Well, German answers just that in his new report, and tells us a body temperature sensor is going to be the big new feature, so let's delve into it. Now, this actually is not new news, to be honest, because this has been rumoured to come to the Series 8 for quite some time now, but the big difference is, back then we thought, this feature would be for fertility planning for females, and so while that's going to be great for the target demographic, it obviously won't have a massive impact on all Apple Watch users, like the ECG and the blood oxygen sensor. But German does now suggest that's not going to be the case. This will be a feature that's available to all users, and he gives us some details regarding how this feature is going to work with the Apple Watch. Now, German does tell us this body temperature feature is not going to give us specific readings, like with a forehead or wrist thermometer, but instead should be able to inform you if you have a fever. So I'm assuming the Apple Watch constantly measures your temperature but notifies you when of course, your temperatures are normal, so go see a doctor and sort this out. Now, for those of you wondering why Apple's not giving us access to the raw data, that's because they need FDA approval to make this a medical grade feature on the Apple Watch. And of course, getting that approval could delay the release of this feature, so Apple instead is going to give you vague information based on the data, but of course, this can't be advertised as a thermometer replacement, and much like the blood oxygen sensor gives you a rough measurement, but you need to verify it with a doctor or some other equipment instead. So yeah, it does kind of suck that we're not getting the raw data, but I'm glad Apple is opening this feature up for all consumers and not just females. And I can see this being useful for checking if you have COVID, since a high temperature is one of the main symptoms, and so this giving you a rough indication that you might have COVID can be pretty convenient for those who travel to events and concerts, and also for those who travel to work. But ultimately, we do finally have a flagship feature for the Series 8 that I'm sure Apple's going to headline as the main upgrade. And yeah, German does tell us that pretty much apart from that, every other change with the Series 8 is going to be pretty minor. So as I said, the S8 chip is going to be on par with the S7 and the S6. And yeah, this sucks, but at the same time, chip performance with the watch has already peaked. And of course, with the chip shortage, I'm sure it's easier for Apple to reuse the same basic chip from the S6 and the S7 with the S8 to get these watches out faster. So yes, I can see why Apple's doing this. And German does also mention we could see new displays with this watch that could be brighter, which I would appreciate. While we did see the always-on display get brighter with the Series 7, the actual display has not changed. And so yeah, this is going to be a nice upgrade, especially when outdoors. Oh, and by the way, I nearly forgot, but the Rugged Watch is also getting this new sensor. So yes, German still believes that's going to be launching alongside the Series 8. Also regarding the Rugged Watch, Ross Young tells us the display could be 1.99 inches, which is a massive increase over the 45mm Series 7. So yes, for those wanting a much larger display and of course a bigger battery alongside it, the Rugged Watch is the way to go. But don't expect this to be cheap because Kerman does tell us this will have a non-aluminium metal casing, so I think titanium is going to be standard with the Rugged Watch, and that, of course, is a very expensive option with the Series 7. Anyways, German does reiterate that yes, we should get longer battery life, and also additional fitness metrics with the larger display, and also a more shatter-resistant screen, so I think we could see ceramic shield on this, since we do believe this is going to get a flat display on the front. But yes, as expected, this should be for hikers, athletes, and those who experience more extreme conditions when using the Apple Watches. Anyways, let's now delve into your comments regarding these new Apple Watches. So Pratik Garg says, should I wait for the Series 8 or buy the Series 7 instead? And I think at this point, since we're pretty close to the release of the new watch, 
I would wait. Since leaks can be wrong as we saw last year with the design of the Series 7, and Apple could surprise us with some brand new features. And also do remember that if you're disappointed by the Series 8, the Series 7 should be available for cheaper through third parties. And so yes, ultimately I think the better move is to wait. So Randomness R says, give us 48 to 50 millimeters. I don't care if it gets thicker for better battery life. And this is referring to the Rugged Watch allegedly having a bigger screen on the front and also the thicker, flatter chassis it has, possibly giving us better battery life. And yes, I completely agree with this comment. I'm kind of surprised Apple has yet to address battery life with the Apple Watch, since it is the biggest weakness of the watch, especially with the batteries degrading really fast after a year or so of use. And so yes, I'm praying both the Rugged Watch and the regular Series 8 get massive battery upgrades. Now one CTF play says, I really hope the rumors are wrong about the S8 chip being the same speed because that is unacceptable only 20% faster than a chip from five years ago. And while yes, I understand you're disappointed, but then again, I don't think we need much faster chips with the Apple Watch. Performance is still more than fine on the Series 4 and even on my Series 6, I've had no issues. And so I really don't mind Apple reusing chips. Also, like I said, there is a chip shortage, and so if Apple can get these watches out faster with the same chip, I'm completely fine with that. And also, you could argue that Apple does not need to really try with these watches anymore because they are the clear market leader, and so without real competition, there is no need to give us new faster chips. Anyways, that's it guys, but if you have more comments and thoughts in general about the Series 8, let me know below. So yeah, those are all the tidbits guys, but tell me in the comments below guys, would the body temperature sensor alone get you to upgrade to the Apple Watch Series 8? Anyways, thank you for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumours. Check out the above on details regarding the iPhone 14 series, and on that note, see ya peeps.